welcome back to my channel my name is sandy and i am the owner of love you candle company and if you have not seen any of my previous videos um before you watch this one go ahead and watch the other ones because they're in chronological order um basically going over what candle supplies you need uh, unboxing a, a candle making kit also how to make candles and now here we are in this video i am going to show you how to make um wax tarts or like some people call it wax melts. So if you look up here, I'm gonna put the link where you have the other videos that you can watch prior to watching this one. Um, in the description below, I'm also gonna tag um, where I got all these supplies from for your convenience, which is also very helpful. So um, without further ado, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to get prompted every time I release a new video, and also comment and like, that will help my algorithm. So thank you so much and let's, um, let's begin. We're gonna start off with the wax that I use for uh, making um, the wax tarts, um, the wax melts. And it comes in this flat, um, which is very hard. It's very, very hard. It's not like your normal wax melt that it's soft. No, this is very hard and it's hard on purpose um, because you definitely want your wax melts to be hard, especially because if you're going to make them in these, um, um, if you're going to make them in these containers, or you're gonna use, or if you use silicone, hold, they look like this, I got these from the dollar store. You wanna make sure that they're hard, very, very hard. If they're not very, very hard, when you try to take them out of this mold, they're gonna just break and go all over the place. So the harder they are, the better it is. So that's why you wanna use a designated wax for wax melts. The wax that I'm using, it's called TW30, um, and it's from California Candle um, Supply. So, to, I've seen other people that they have a hard time cutting this wax. Um, let me put my gloves on. I always put gloves on when I'm going to touch wax or I'm going to interact with the wax. So, let me put my glove on. Look, I already ripped it. And what I use is this um i think this is like a fondant cutter or i found this in the bakery it has helped me so much i don't have to use too much pressure or anything um to cut this wax and it makes it so much easier versus some people that i know that they throw it on the floor and they break it on the floor i don't have to do any of that with this i can cut it no big deal so i do want to start off by telling you guys that one of these um one of these clamshells will hold exactly 2.4 ounces. So what I did is that I actually tested this before doing this video because I wanted to ensure that I gave you guys the most accurate um, of all measurements. And as you can see, this is actually one of the um, wax starts that I already did. And they're just sitting here now. Um, I'm just letting them sit to get ready, but one of these contains and holds 2.4 ounces of wax, okay? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to measure, get your scale, and you're gonna put your metal pot here, and then you're going to tear it. Okay, it's at zero. Let's start cutting. So what I want is, because I'm gonna do four clam um, um, clamshells, I'm gonna do four wax melts, we're gonna take 2.4 times four. That's gonna give me 9.6 ounces. And 9.6 ounces of wax is what I want. So, here we go. <clears throat> So you just cut it and it's really easy. It's not that hard. And I take all the little pieces too and I just throw it in there. Um, we're at 5.5 and we want 9.6. So you see how easy? Okay. 
This can't be like real right now. 9.5, I'm off by one, which is like perfect. So I'm gonna grab the little residue that's here and I'm just gonna throw it in there. Okay, that's nine. That's 9.6. Yep, that's 9.6. All right, so now I'm done with my wax. I'm gonna set it off to the side. And 9.6, so I'm gonna take my gloves off. And as you can see, let me go ahead and show you, that's what the wax looks like inside. As you can see here, I have my pot here and the wax. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, let it melt. And once it's all melted, we're gonna take the temperature with our thermometer. I actually use two, I use this one and I also use this one. I mainly use this one so I can be on point when it gets to 185 so I can add the fragrance. So let's wait for that to melt. And in the meantime, let's go wait our fragrance. Okay guys, this is so much, making wax melts, it's so much easier than making candles. You don't have to wick, you don't have to prep, prep um, you don't have to prep jars, nothing. It's super, super easy. So I'm gonna take my gram scale, cause that's what I wanna use, my Dixie cup. So let me turn it on. In my previous video, I show you guys how to come up with the formula to know how much fragrance oil you're gonna put in your wax. So for tart, for wax melts, um, you tend to use more percentage versus making candles. So for wax melts, this particular wax holds up to 18% of fragrance oil. I'm gonna use 15, that is my magic number. I feel like 15 is just perfect. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is use the same formula that I showed you guys in my previous video. If you want, I'm not gonna write it down because it's in my previous video. If you wanna see it um, in full um, detail and written down, go to my previous video on how to make candles and I explain on there exactly how to do the formula. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is measure um, how much fragrance oil we're gonna use for wax melts. Like I said, I use 15% and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So we're gonna go ahead and take 9.6 um, ounces of wax that we used and multiply it by 0 0.15. That's gonna give us 1.44 ounces. And today I'm going to be using uh, mahogany coconut and it's from the flaming candle. So let me go ahead and turn on the scale. Okay, now I'm gonna tear it and I'm gonna go ahead and do 1.44. Wow, this smells so good. So this is what I was explaining to you guys in the previous video. There are times where I will pour too much, so this is where the dropper comes in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and take out excessive fragrance oil. Oh, and there we are at 144. Perfect. Sometimes I do a little bit of drops. Okay, there. 144. And it makes it so much easier, no mess, and it's just more convenient. I'm going to put this to the side. And let's go check it out. Oh, we are almost there. Let's see. Yep, so at this point, I will add this thermometer here. And I actually just leave it there. My camera might get foggy only because of the heat. If you can see on the corner, we still have a little bit of wax that's melting but the temperature is rapidly increasing. So we're gonna leave this here a little bit more and it should be ready soon so we can add our fragrance. Um, while we wait for our wax to melt, I did wanna encourage you guys to, in the comments, in the comment section, just ask any questions that you have. I know when you're a newbie and you're just starting, there's so much information that you have to gather and maintain. I'm so happy to share with you guys any details that I might have missed. 
Um, I know that questions come up after also, so if I can go ahead and answer those for you guys, that's great. Um, in the meantime, it's been crazy in my house. You can probably hear my kids in the background. It's Thanksgiving week. Um, today's Monday, it's been super crazy. Um, side note, I wasn't gonna host Thanksgiving in my house this year, but plans change, things happen, but I welcome them. It's amazing, it's always great to spend time with family and friends, um, we're, but we're gonna keep it really, really um, very, very small, only because of COVID, taking all precautions and everything. Um, but I'm super excited about it. And then my son's birthday is this week also. So we're having a party this weekend. It's, it's just crazy. Um, trying to juggle a business, um, two different businesses. I have, you know, marketing and I also um, do the candles. So, yeah. Um, also in the comment section, let me know what has inspired you to um, start a candle business or if you're just doing this as a hobby. Um, in my website, I do describe a little bit more of the story behind candle making for me and I also always love to hear um, what other candle makers, how they got into this business, what, you know, what inspired you. It's always amazing um, to hear. So we're going to go ahead and prep our... We're going to go ahead and prep our clamshells. I only put them, place them about half an inch apart from each other. It's not a big deal. It's just something that I do. So our wax is actually ready and we're gonna go ahead and pour the fragrance. As you can see, it drops it immediately once I add it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it. And I mix it for about a minute. So we're gonna mix it for about a minute and then we'll be ready to just let it sit so it can cool down so we can pour. So here we have our wax and our wax is actually in the process of cooling down at this point um i'm not adding dye to um i'm not gonna add dye to these wax melts only because it's mahogany and coconut and given the coconut i want to leave them white however when you're you when you get to that 185 degrees that you have melted your wax at that point you can add your dye and then stir for about a minute and after that minute goes by you can go ahead and add your fragrance um so we're gonna stir this a little bit more and let's see where we're at i love this digital thermometer i use the other one but sometimes the other one the infrared can be a little bit off so the wax melts i like to pour between 140 and 150 degrees and um we're almost there we're at 154. so we're gonna let and what you want to do also is that you want to stir the wax um to ensure you have the most accurate temperature so after stirring, it's 154, so let's give it a few, and I'll check back on this. All right, let's check on it again. It's at 115. So... I'm like, what is this? I have no idea what this is. I just pulled this out of my wax. I have no idea what it is. And I don't think I want to find out either. All right, it's at 143. Let's stir it a little bit more. This smells so good. If you like musky scents, um, you'll definitely love anything that has mahogany in it. Um, this is actually my first time using mahogany coconut, so I'm definitely um, 
excited to give this a try. Okay. All right, we are at 142. Yeah, we can go ahead and pour. So, what you wanna go ahead and do is make sure that they're about like an inch apart from each other. And let's start over here. I hope you guys can see this, but if not, so I can give you guys a close up of what it looks like. Here we go. Nice. And that's it. And that's it. You see, perfect measurement. All of the wax, no wax left over. You always wanna make sure that you're testing your measurements. You don't wanna end up with leftover wax and then you're like, oh my God, what do I do with this wax? What do I do with it? No, trust me, I've been there. Trial and tribulation, I'm here to facilitate so you don't make the same mistakes I did. So that's why I went ahead and made sure that I made a previous batch to ensure that I give you guys the most accurate of measurements. Um, some people use grams. Other people use ounces. I use ounces. I'm just much better with ounces than grams. Other people like to use grams. It doesn't really matter. Some people will say, oh yeah, it does. It really doesn't, guys. Ounces, grams, whatever you feel comfortable with. Immediately after, I have to clean my pot. And I usually take a paper towel to wipe it down. I love this alcohol spray bottle. Um, it's just so much easier because I can just um, spray my um, pot and I'm OCD when it comes to this because the last thing you want is wax residue here and just like that we have a clean pot so there you have it that's how you make wax masks didn't I tell you guys this was going to be like the easiest thing ever if you're scared of starting with candles i feel you 100 percent understand if you want to get your feet wet without having to do the most complex part of making candles you can start with wax melts it's a great way to start getting people engaged of trying out your products without killing yourself and killing your budget because these actually um they're cheaper to make also because you don't have to buy wicks you don't have to buy um jars and jars can become pricey depending on the jar that you pick so if you're looking for a cheap way to start and something that's not going to be too complicated but get your feet wet this is definitely a good way to start so that's it for my video i hope you guys liked it i hope it was easy to explain if you have any questions about measurements or anything just comment below don't forget to like also guys don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe then you're not gonna be seeing my future videos and i have a lot of content for you guys coming up from marketing from um product pictures from packaging from how do i package my orders etc so there's a lot of great stuff that's coming ahead so without further ado thank you for joining me and love you guys happy candle making